Hey, what up? Just want to make a quick prediction on this uh, Roley versus uh, uh, Tank Davis fight. Um, yeah, just want to get right into it. Um, we'll just give a little background. Um, this, this fight has been, you know, kind of uh, brewing for the last couple months, given the fact that it was supposed to happen back in December, but... Um, things went to a halt because of things that happened in, uh, Roley's personal life, but, um, it's back on and, and, and it's tonight, so, my prediction, um, obviously, or well, my opinion, I think Tank Davis is, Tank Davis washes, uh, Roley, in my opinion, to be honest, I don't even think Roley deserves this fight. Um, just speaking from his, um, what he's done um, in the ring or his, his, his overall body of work. And this is skill set. He doesn't really deserve this fight. But he you know, obviously got the fight or whatever. So it is what it is. Um, Skill-wise, I don't think he matches up with Tank at all. Um, not, he, not even a lick of it. Um, his, I think, was it his last fight or the fight before his last fight? I think he, la I think, not I do I think, but I know that he lost. On paper, he won, but he, he really lost. He did horrible in that fight. Um, you know, during the press conferences, on the last press conference, um, it, to me, in my opinion, um, not only that does uh Javante Tank Davis has the physical and the skills um the skill set to, to be um roly so he's physically um um is the favorite in my opinion or has the edge but psychologically I think he has the edge on Roly. Um I think Roly what he's doing is I don't think he's being truthfully honest with him, honest with himself. Um, going into this fight, I don't think he's honest with himself. Yes, does he want to win? But I don't think he's really truthfully, truly honest with himself. Um, and I think it's gonna show this fight. I don't think he's going to do exactly. I don't think he's fit for the task. That's what, in my opinion, and psychologically, I think the uh, Javante Tank Davis. Um, has an edge on him um, psychologically. Um, reading into the body, but the reading into the body languages, and just how they face to face, how they really doesn't seem like he is what he he says he is. Now that remains to be seen if he uh, uh, if he is different than what. I'm saying he is in that ring, then that remains to be seen. And if he is better than what I think he is in that match or in that bout, then, you know, I'll give him that respect. But psychologically, I don't think he has, I don't think he's uh, fit for the task. And I don't think he's just, I think he's putting up a front, in my opinion. Um, he's strong. Um you know, he has a, what people like to say, a puncher's chance. He's, you know, bigger than uh, Tank. Those are what he, what he has and his advantages. Um, but in terms of skillfully um, putting up a, a, a formidable match, I don't think so. Um, I think all night he'll be looking for a, a big punch. And I think that's all he'll, he will be looking for. Um, and I think I think that's that's about it. Um, now, if he if he falls in the pressure of this magnitude of a fight, he might not even <laughs> he might be gun shy. You never know. That could be a possibility of <laughs> in this match too. But um, I don't think he's fit for the task to do this. Not just yet. Um. 
his trainer, I don't think his trainer or any of his people on his team will work on the things that need to be worked on. Um, and, and this is why I say Rowley is just putting Davis aside. Rowley's not really a good fighter to me. Um, I think he's to a certain extent, I'll give him this respect, he did overachieve given the, the fact that he started boxing at 17 years old and he's made it this far. And so I'll give him that respect. But from a from a, a person who watches boxing and just analyzing it, he's not really a good fighter. Like everybody at the top of everybody at 135, the top of 135 would be rolling in my opinion. Whether it's uh Davis, Devontae Dink, Tink Davis, Haney, Shakur. Shakur's not even a 35 pounder, but he'll beat you. He'll beat him. Cambosis, um, Tiafimo, he doesn't fight there anymore. He's moving up. Who else? Um, Loma. Even people a little under that grade of 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 a fighter, I think, will beat him. Richard Comey would probably give him a good fight. You know, probably could be him too. So. The problem with Rowley he is that his stance is, is, is they like to say he's awkward. People can give him that he's awkward, but I just think he just doesn't, he doesn't, it could be considered awkward, but it, in the long run, it's not going to serve him well. And it's going to show this fight. His stance is, is terrible. He looks like he's off balance all the time. Um, he throws a lot of looping shots that could be easily countered, especially like a guy like Tank Davis. Um, and his jab, his jab just looks is just terrible to me. His jab looks terrible. His jab, his footwork, his footwork is bad. He doesn't. He he's he's flat footed, so he's 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 gonna be <laughs> gonna be it's gonna be hard for him to 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 keep up with Tank Davis if you're flat footed. So he's flat footed. Um and then his balance is is, is is terrible. His balance is what's gonna <laughs> it's what's gonna be uh uh I be be the catalyst for it. <laughs> um Tank Davis' knockdown, other than Tank Davis having a lot of power. That's gonna be a catalyst in my opinion, but that's that's what's wrong with Willie to me. And I don't think his 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 coaches him and his, him and himself is honest with himself. The task that they have ahead of them, um, I don't think they were working on the things that they need to be worked on to be the caliber of a fighter like Tank Davis. Um, I think this was too early of a step of fight for um, for um, Rowley. Too early, way too, too way, way, way too early. Um, they should have went through the proper, um, you could say protocol of, of fights that they did, that, that should have got him ready for a fight like this. They didn't, yeah, he was a mandatory, but, and I don't, I don't support ducking, but he's just not ready, man. He really is not. He did not have, he didn't have the proper Fighter fights to fight fight like this, and even if he did, he's just not. He's not ready with the skill set. He needs uh to work on a lot of things for him to <laughs> to fight like a caliber fight like this. But it's on though, right? It's on. So I got Tink winning this between five to six rounds. If it happens earlier, I wouldn't be surprised. And I think it's going to be an uppercut that um, knocks out Roley. Roley's going to try to. I don't. It's it's really interesting fight at the same time. I don't know how is he really going to try to uh, impede himself. It's out of two things. He's going to really try to impede himself, or he's going to be gun shy. Um, But I think he's. I think he's. Gonna, I think he's gonna try to 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 really impede himself. But it's not gonna. It's not gonna be how it is. Uh, how things gonna be. Um. But yeah, I have. Tank Davis. 
beating uh, Roly by knockout, an uh, uppercut knockout between the rounds of five and six. I'm going to give Roly a little bit of a shot at <laughs> lasting that long. I just don't see any way that Roly could win this. And trust me, he's going to be looking for that shot all night. All night long. Throwing looping shots. And that's going to be to his detriment because he knows he has nothing else. He doesn't have any edge in this fight. Psychologically, I think he's he doesn't he's not there. I just think he's going with the uh, the motions basically, but he's not there. He's not there. He knows it's the biggest fight of his life. So many lights. It's gonna be it's, so many people gonna be there. So I know he's gonna be very nervous. I know he's gonna be very nervous, and that could play a major factor in this fight. Because <laughs> at this point, it's not about power. <laughs> It's not about power. It's about having the tools to actually do what you're trying to do. And have you been in these kind of moments already? Tank has been in these moments already many times. You haven't. So I think he's lying to himself. And that's what I, that's why I wish the people around him didn't do. I think that's his trainer. His trainer has been lying to him. They didn't work on anything that was needed for this fight. They didn't work on anything. He probably needs a better coach. Better people around him to tell him the truth, and he, and most importantly, he need to tell him, he need to tell himself the truth about about himself and what he needs to do, or that he should have done for this fight. They didn't work on anything um, worthy or skillful for this camp to win this fight. I guarantee it, and that's the problem. But yeah, that's my prediction. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later.